In our bodies, there is this group of cells that are really important in helping to stop the immune system from attacking our own bodies. And the people who discovered these cells have won the Nobel Prize. And these cells are called um, regulatory T cells. And what they do is basically uh, they uh, keep the immune system in check and they also help to uh, prevent autoimmune disorders. So this discovery paved the way for new ways to think about autoimmune disorders and also think about treating them. So there are ongoing trials using regulatory T cells um, to treat uh, lupus, type 1 diabetes and other autoimmune disorders. The winners of this year's Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology then are Shimon Sakaguchi, Mary Brown, and Fred Ramsdale. And the story then of how these were discovered was quite a long time coming, right? That's right, Ben. So there was a hint of this concept more than 50 years ago, but scientists couldn't prove it at the time, up until 1995, where one of the Nobel Prize winners today managed to identify and discover these cells in mice. Six years later, Branko and Ramsdale uh, discovered a gene mutation uh, that caused an autoimmune disease uh, in a particular uh, mouse strain. And later on, Sakaguchi again proved that uh, this particular gene is highly expressed by uh, the regulatory T cells and is crucial for their development. So this is quite fundamental biology they've won for then, Mira. Where does it go next, do you think? So their discovery is very important because it shifted our understanding of the immune system and how complicated and how complex it is. And at the same time, it was the first step towards uh, exploring new ways targeting these cells uh, to treat autoimmune disorders. Well, we always love to hear a little bit about the prize winners. And at a press conference at his university in Japan, Sakaguchi said, I'm going to go home now, have a hot bath and go to bed. I think it's been quite the day for him.